Welcome back to Trying with the World. If this is your first time, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you are returning sub, what to do? Now let's get into the video. And we're back. And today we are doing another episode, episode seven of Featured Friday. And today we have Stacy McNeil. And can you tell us the position that you have or had? Uh, I am a former coach of Walmart Stores Incorporated. Okay, so let's get into these questions. And the first question is um, How did you? How did you become a coach? Oh, um, it was a long process. Um, I've been in management for a while, um, and the the company kind of changed its format. And as it changed its format, some positions were eliminated, and um, some positions were created, and the coach position was created. Um, and the coach position is above an assistant manager, but below the store manager. Um, and so instead of being a manager, we are now coaches or team leads or store leads or and things as such. So um, mm -hmm. just being with the company for a while and already having an assistant manager position, mm -hmm. um, of course, had to go through the process of interviewing and um, I was picked for the position. Oh, that is so amazing. And my second question is, what was, what is the first, uh, since you said you was, a, you was an assistant manager, I can ask you this question. What was the first mm, assistant manager position you held? Was it in this company or before? Another it, company? It was in this company. Um, after seven years of being an hourly associate, I expressed the interest of wanting to go into management. Mm -hmm. um, the manager I had at the time uh, basically gave me a challenge and to ask, told me that um, if you can clean up this department um, and get it you know, productive again, then I will uh, put you in the management program. And I did just that. It was a struggle. Um, I can imagine. <laughs> but I, I, I got it where it needed to be. Um, uh, I was recognized by, um, our, at that time, they were district managers um, for how I had cleaned up the area, and not just on the sales floor, but in the back room as well. So. Oh, wow. So you really got it together. Mm -hmm. Okay. My third question is, how long did you work at this company? Altogether, 28 years. Ooh. That's a long years. time. Absolutely. You put in the time. <laughs> <laughs> the time. The that time is goes by fast, especially if you love what you do. Yeah. Um, and I love people, I love um, working in retail. Um, so it, it flew by, it flew by. That is amazing. Okay, let me get to this next question. Question number four. What are, the, what are some of the challenges that you face being a coach? Um, the biggest challenge to me was that I had to learn that 90% of the business was people issues, whereas most people would think it's going to be the merchandise and the managing and all this stuff, but it was more so people issues. Um, so getting to, to know my people and what they were capable of and knowing who I can push and how far I can push, mm. um, you know, to get them to the next level was my biggest challenge. Um, Next would be the, you know, with any company, there's going to be change. If there is not change, then you will not be able to sustain. That's true. So That's in anything um, you do. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> so in, um, in the change aspect, not so much of me adapting to it, but being able to get my team to adapt to it. Because mm -hmm. a lot of people just do not deal well with change. Mm -mm. Just one slight thing and just it throws them off. Mm -hmm. Especially when they've been doing this this long. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I understand that. But it's a part of life. Change is, yes, it is. a very 
a part that everybody must go through. Absolutely. As long as you live, there will be change. <laughs> okay, so let's get into the next question. Why did you decide to leave this position? I left the position because um, I had some health reasons. And at the time, um, it, it was pretty devastating. It took me, you know, it kind of rocked me a little bit. Mm. Um, but I still tried to continue, you know, working and um, uh, and dealing with my health issues. But it got to the point where it was too much for me. The stress was too much for me. The rehabilitation was too much for me. So I decided to do what I've always told my associates, and that is to take care of you. This company will be here before, it was here before you, and it will be here after you. That is so correct. So take care of you, because if you're not, if you're not able to take care of yourself, if you're not healthy, you're not going to be good for anybody that else. That is so, so true. Okay, Perhaps. and this is my final question. Mm -hmm. It says, um, can you tell our subscribers what are you doing with yourself now? Oh, goodness. So <laughs> now I am doing nothing retired. <laughs> Yay. No. Um, <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that. I'm, I'm loving it, too. I know you are. But um, I, I'm in the ministry. I am a prophetess of Latter Rain Ministries, one of the greatest ministries in Spencer, yes, South is. Carolina. Yes, it is. Um, <laughs> so I'm um, part of the ministry. I'm loving uh, just being active and doing whatever I can find my hands to do. I know um, that's right. Whatever God, you know, directs me to do, that's what I want to do. And I'm so grateful and thankful that I have the freedom to do that. Hey. So, man to that yes and i'm also a member of this church <laughs> this is our church yes that absolutely. we are talking about we all they say a man don't praise his own pond okay okay and we got to praise our own pond yes. so i thank you for watching this episode of featured friday don't forget to like comment and subscribe see you in the next one peace